I have grown much more weary in these past months, and my ailments continue to elevate in discomfort to a level in which my constitution can no longer bear. In a recent moment of serendipity, I conversed with a gentleman upon his return from the wild north. He proclaimed that a few days spent among the brooks, rivers, and lakes of this bracing climate had rendered him quite robust and healthy. He recommends such an excursion to many an invalid as far superior to quack medicines and expensive nostrums. I now plan to seek out and settle in a climb as he described, praying for the similar transformative effect to bestow itself upon me. I've heard that pine emits an odor peculiarly healing and highly beneficial for invalids. These recent months living in God's great land confirms this thesis as my consumptive ailments have been healed, rendering me a new man. There is no place perhaps on this globe where nature displays such diversified lands and water. The banks are high and afford a series of picturesque views the shores are rugged and steep, interrupted by lovely, sheltering covers. The shallows are plentiful. I have felt as if invited to settle down and admire their resplendent views with a sort of joyful thankfulness for having been led to them. But just as I am in awe of the beauty, I am also interested in the potential to employ its power to make a better life for myself. I have concluded that the only way to investigate more wonderment is to strike out and explore the vast realm that lies beyond my door. To the governor of the territory. With this letter being unofficial and private, I may with safety give you a more extensive view of our policy respecting the Indians. In order to promote this disposition to exchange lands, which they have to spare and we want, we shall push our trading uses. We will be glad to see the good and influential individuals among them run in debt. Because we observe that when these debts get beyond what the individuals can pay, they become willing to lop them off by a cession of lands. In this way, our settlements will gradually circumscribe and approach the Indians, and they will in time either incorporate with us as citizens of the United States, or a move beyond the Mississippi. President Thomas Jefferson, 1803. Agu gichi moku manag, wenji we dege manang, agu ashkenawig. Kichi da ki barzi wag. We weeb, he go. Is it bonin dana wad? Wiganesh you. O geek no, a mago winima wenin, inu. Kichi aya aminanin. We ya benda iko wad, a pi dash, a ki wenji ya, niboa. Inu, o goki no, a mago winan, da win. Gida hiji nasiman. Gigit sa, the wanami wag, he go. O jibweg, minawa, ga win, a wea. O ga, ki keni masi wan, wenesh, in a we ma wad. We know what. Me dash, Zagaswe a dee winning a wug. You, or just could damn a nan, be sure it you. 
chipe kong ke ka ki ke ishi atawe ike wad ki chi we shkin 1820 i've overheard that the northwest company has brought 56 kegs of alcohol for trade with the savages this year with my 8 kegs from the xy company we should have enough between us to trade more than 7 gallons of liquor for every single adult siu and chipowa in the entire river valley this would indeed be a very good year of trading for us as this additional lubricant will help us best last year's record of the savages harvesting over 8000 beaver pelts for us michel kiro 1805 Ninduga ma kandagamen nimba ma is a mananig o au is a way busy yang anishana a king miga way win gakana mish ada way win wanag minawa kiti mukomanag azagwa oma gaskatuwad anje is a chege yang mina wind e go au a king geget sa on zam manumen minawa amakuwa yanen ninda singananen je is Minigo yang in new mayage apichaganen nishke in new bashkizaganen iwapiko apichaganen minawa ishkodwabu ningi minigomen gosha minawen ningichi aya imanani o au odun wachige wina minawani ningichi nigaz in endaman ginwens minawen bunin daman mi ga ayang wa mingwangwa kichi nibowa kichi mukomena kidi pis anet Ki ikadowag agawe ichi ayaik gimama gonamani ichi mukomana gwe ki ginawen je minagoyan gitche manadun nima megwe bajikwe This I reckon that with a bit of cultivation it might be made to produce even the luxuries of life. There is opportunity for all men to prosper and seemingly no end to what one may need or want of this world. The only challenge I foresee is how to provide all of God's chosen people with the opportunity to delight in this new Canaan, this promised land. Thank you.